So how about that? Uh, <laughs> how about that praying mantis? Um, he's still there. Okay, so tell the whole story. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, so cut. Start over. <laughs> okay, okay. So tell me the praying mantis story. Well, it's just very interesting because there are a lot of praying mantises here in this area, as well as gigantic bugs that you only would see in the Amazon. <laughs> That apparently are fine. Yeah, they yeah. don't hurt you at all. They're, they don't sting or bite. What's the problem? Um, the problem is it is an insect the size of a hummingbird. That is the problem. <laughs> That's pretty close. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. But they don't sting or bite. It's not a hummingbird. It's an insect. <laughs> so big. It's built like a tank. <laughs> yeah, an indestructible. Insect. I know. That's what it is. They fly around a doom. They hit the wall. And then they land and they're like. Yeah. <laughs> they look like a Volkswagen. Their antlers, their antennas are like, I mean, you could comb your hair with them. They're barbed and large. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Like that. Like a hummingbird. You could, you, okay, you could comb Barbie's hair okay. very well with that. Yes, literally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway. They don't hurt. Yeah. So what was the topic? The uh, the the praying mantis. Yeah, so anyway, we picked the smoking blend. Did a little ceremony about trying to, to get me to help me quit smoking. A prayer, if you will. Alright. <laughs> and then the leaves are drying and there was a praying mantis there on the tray of leaves that was drying. Okay, so then anyway, two weeks later, we get home and there's a praying mantis in one of the dog's bowls. Yeah. It's dead. It's a water bowl. Water bowl. Dead it's as a doornail. De dead and drowned. Dead. Okay. Complete, like drowned. But drowned. Of, not, eh. No reflex movements, nothing. Eyes glazed over. Two X's in the eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you follow me? There was a dead praying mantis in some water. Yeah. So I don't, so I pick, so I picked up that praying mantis out of there, thinking maybe it's alive. No, I put him. I put his lifeless body. <laughs> <laughs> his poor lifeless body. On a um on a shelf uh -huh. and I kept revisiting him like once an hour and it was night time <laughs> okay <laughs> and finally I was like and he's still dead dead yeah and then I thought I'm gonna use a little trick that I learned in the Amazon yeah this is uh the first time I've ever felt that I could have um healing like I I might have some good powers yeah for healing yeah so I went to him and I did this thing where I point my pinkies directly at the thing yeah and I, what I'm visualizing is these golden balls okay like you know what mercury looks like on the ground yeah like so perfectly metallic and yeah And then, um, then he moved. <laughs> and then an hour later, he was moving like a leg. Yeah. You know, a lot. Yeah. And then, anyway, the upshot is he lived. Okay, so you believe you brought him back to life? I don't, it, I believe that I channeled the energy for him to come back to life. Okay. All right. So that may or not may not be true, but what is true, and I can testify to this, and we might get some video of it tomorrow, is that fucking brain mantis <laughs> has hung out where she hangs out for like three days, right? And they don't do that. Four days. Four days? Yeah. And they don't do that. They... You only see them and then you don't see them again unless they're caught by a spider web or something, but... 
Yeah, they they don't hang out, and this one is hanging out like right where she's right where she's being, like where, where she sits and smokes, and like just likes to hang out there, and that's not how they act. And I named it Philip. Philip. She named it Philip. So <laughs> she may or may not brought have brought that praying mantis back to life. Maybe she Philip. saved it from the brink of death. But the fact is. The praying mantis is hanging out for days, and they don't do that. I know that. I've been living here for almost 30 years, and I know how they act, and they don't act like that. What do you think it is? You I think there's some kind of message there for you. From the praying mantis. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Well, it did hang out by your tobacco. He's praying. Right, on your tobacco, on, to, on your blend. In the area I smoke, he's sitting. Right. Just pray. That's a trip. Yesterday he was in the ashtray. That's a trip. Praying. That's a trip. Fuck, that's really trippy. Right? Stupid. <laughs> okay, so what are you smoking? Right now I'm smoking the blend, but it's heavier on tobacco than the blend. Okay. Because I'm, I'm. You're drinking, and this is the time when you smoke the most. Correct. Can I have the ashtray that's actually your favorite, most favorite Christmas tin that I destroyed? destroyed that and also destroyed that hmm. that glass right there for no reason. Which she's got tons, tons of ashtrays. Oh, there's all these gallon, Wait. there's all these gallon cans. Wait a minute. That's you. No. That's your work. No. Yes, it is. No one else does that. No one else has ever done that. No. <laughs> okay, that's you. Listen, you find li new little ashtrays all the time, right? What's wrong with those gallon containers? They're all over the place. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use those instead of my good tin that I got for a Christmas present? It was very... What's that? Uh, what's... I swear to God, I did not know this was a good tin. It had a lid for it. It was dry in there. So if it has a lid, it's a good tin. If it's dry in there, if like the stuff that's in there, it's not all rotten or whatever. Yeah, it's good. You consider it a good tin and yeah. we have to say it. If it's not all dented, yeah. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> so there's all these gallon cans around mm -hmm. and yet you choose to wreck two, two things right there that were good. Two. The mason jar and that my good tin. I didn't wreck this. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I clean it out. That's that's wrecked. No. That's not good anymore. That's no. that's cigarette butts that have been sitting in cigarette butt juice <laughs> for for weeks. You just snorted. <laughs> yeah. There's no issue. <sighs> you're lucky you're so hot. I'm willing to put up with anything you do. <laughs> you look you look really good right now. Anything? Well, so far. <laughs> you mean all the helping I've been doing? <laughs> you have been so gracious while I've cleaned your whole house. <laughs> From the grime and dirt of Look at there's this there's my statue you of my days. I that's so symbolic the 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 couch standing up right there, ready to go to the dump. Probably ready to fall on my head. <laughs> no, I rigged it. You fall the other way. No, it's oh god. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh god, it is so gross. <laughs> like, look at the pillows. <laughs> look at the. <laughs> Not that bad. Oh, it's disgusting. 